All right, welcome to episode 9 of The Long Drive. The 2,076 kilometer distance is the total of all of your saves. I just figured that out. All right, where were we at? Let's, uh, oh yeah, I was at a bus stop, which you can barely see right there. Let's get going. Let's hit this road. So once again, I'm a little bit inebriated here on this Labor Day, because I have Labor Day off. Yay. It's 1 a.m. in the morning here, according to my clock. It's actually like noon, my time. So let's just see how far we can get. I I'd eventually would like to finish this game entirely and say, yep, I made it to the end. And Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's fine. Have some more of my beverage of choice. Got some cold snacks going here. Uh, today on the menu we have uh, Corona, uh, uh, was it, Premier? And I laced it, oh yeah, it's at Water Tower. We don't care about the Water Tower, do we? I seem to be going uphill a little bit. I kind of wish an inclinometer so I could tell what kind of grade I was on, but I don't. Anyway, yeah, um, so yeah. Corona Premier, and I've laced it with a little bit of uh, Grey Goose Vodka. The only reason why I got Grey Goose Vodka is I think it's kind of overrated, and that's kind of the general consensus is it was on sale. It, I. I do have to admit, it does go down smooth. Oh, hey, I got some red showing up there in my mirror. I mean, the sun's coming up soon. At 2.30, I start seeing red. Up oh, yeah, there, you can see, like, all the weird, uh, what is that, 256 uh, color patterns there with the weird whatevers. All right, we're, now we're going downhill. I'll just let off that gas there, wait for that check engine light to come on. Any second. Yeah, so there we are. We can kind of see the horizon now. There is my check engine light. Anyway, yeah, Grey Goose, I think, is a little bit overrated. I only got it because it was cheap. It was on sale at Foodland. Um, <coughs> normally I get Smirnovs, but uh, yeah, that's kind of... It's harsh. It tastes terrible. I mean, it's basically ethanol. <laughs> is what it is. It is what it is. So, Grey Goose, it's not quite as harsh. I mean, it's I mean, it's still ethanol, you know, but you can tell that it did. Wow, my speedometer's now pegged out. I'm going downhill pretty quick. Hopefully, I don't have to deal with a hill going upwards. Oh, hey. You're a depot. Can I get woed up here? Okay, okay, I think we're good. Unfortunately, we got grass everywhere. That's not going to be fun. All right, so I'll turn you off. All right, so let's uh, get out. Oh, let's let's open the door first. All right, let's see what we got here. I mean, it's nice that the sun's coming up, so kind of get to. I love this cow plow thing I got on here. Autosave. Can't figure out how to change autosave settings in game. Oh, hey, we got a giraffe. That's worth keeping. Let's uh, stash you with some bacon here. Yeah, see, perfect. All right, I turned off my first person, you know, my body because it was kind of weird. What are you? Oh, you're 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 a clock. You're a clock, right? In pretty good shape, actually. I don't know what you had in you, but uh, we're gonna find out. Water. All right, don't need you. Water and oil. Well, someone's making a milkshake in that radiator. Got some doors. Got some of these damn cylinders that do a bunch of nothing. Coolant, nothing. Empty oil. I can't even remember if I have oil capacity left over. Oh, hey, we got a air rifle. Uh, let's see if we got some cleaning spray. Oh, we do. Uh, 
Uh, apparently that's as bad as clean as I can get it. So let's just eat that over there. All right, so I'll show you where I stash all my air guns. This is an air gun. I mean, I mean, don't knock air guns. It, you know. Okay, we'll get it right up in our face. You know, in our teeth here. All right, so let's see. Can I drop it in there? Hey, perfect. All right, so it's dropped in there. A soccer ball. Oh, that's important. An empty bucket. Oh, hey, we got a sponge. We can keep sponges. You ever know when you need to clean something and having a sponge is useful? And I got lots of... Do I have sponges already? Oh, I do. Oh, well, I'll just put that in there. Here, here, buddy, you can, you can just, you can just, you can just... I can't even tell. Alright, so it breaks the plane of the... Autosave. It breaks the plane of the top of the bin, which means physics are now disabled for it. Oh, chocolate bar. Hell yeah, chocolate. Uh, what what's in this? Oh, water can? Yeah, I guess what, buddy. I'm gonna go into mom's house. I should I should totally bring some chocolate. Alright, so fun story growing up. Um you know, period cramps are totally a thing. And what would end up happening is my mom would send me to the store with some money. He got a tiny bit of gas, but I'm really not worried about it. Oh, we got seven sprays out of that. All right. Can I clean? Can I can I clean anything? Apparently not. Go away. So mom would send me to the store with some money, or you know, a bundle of. Uh, Cans. Oh, hey, I'll take that. In case I find a articulated bus I can steal. I mean, borrow. I mean, have. Well, how how am I gonna make you fit? How am I gonna make you fit, there, guy? I think I'm gonna make you fit like that. And hopefully. The other one. Oh, yeah, perfect. So now that's 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 there. So I, I, as I was saying before, I interrupted myself. I hate when I interrupt myself. You know, it's fine to talk to yourself, but when you interrupt yourself, that's that's where you draw the line. All right, go. You can you can go. What did I break it on? That's an engine. It looks like shit. That's a TV. That can go over here. I'm trying to clear... I mean, because there's... I mean, just look at it. Oh, would you just look at it? Yo, who donated blood and a jerry can? Why would you do that? I can't think if I had a full thing of fuel, of gas. Let's go look. Did I mention that most of this game is basically inventory management? I think I've mentioned that like a billion times already. Just it just needs to be said. All right. Well, I found I found some oil. So we're gonna go ahead and tank up. Not that way. There we go. Perfect. I don't need any more jerry cans. I got, uh, I mean, just a ludicrous amount of jerry cans everywhere. I kind of wish you can clean up parts. Is that, I mean, it's radiator. This is a bus radiator. I'll show you that. I have a pristine one sitting down here. But um, it would be nice if I had another one. Oh, there's a water tower way out there. I'm sorry, wrong button. There it is. They got like radio antennas and shit on top of it. Um, yeah, I haven't even touched my second drink here. Let me take some of that cold snack. Oh, we got bike tires. Uh, 
I don't even remember what you had in it. Oil. Well. Oil can was over here. I I meant to do that. No, I didn't. I messed up. E there, just drop that. I gotta close you because driving auto saving. It's almost like the um, <laughs> squirrel, you know, from from up. That's a fantastic Pixar film. Uh, never mind. The opening is like the worst. I mean, they did a great job. I mean, the the beginning of Up is fantastic because I guess the goal with any sort of medium, a comic book. A book, a news article. Where the heck did that other chocolate go? I like how there's wind noise when I run. Oh, yeah, it's right here. The goal of any medium is to make you feel something. Up did that so well. Like, I can't even begin to... Like, I don't need alcohol here in game. I got some of that in real life. Diesel. Hey. What are you? Empty. Well, let's go ahead and tank up our, our bus. I guess this game is... I, I mean, I don't know. This game's like super freaking chill. Let's close you because stuff happens when I don't. <sighs> oh, pardon me. That's a rock. What are you up there? Oh, damn, son, that is a diner. Oh, we got stuff outside here, too? Oh, well, huzzah! Let's see what we got. Sausage and some cookies. Oh, and the sled. This sled's kind of fun. Well, let's make room for that sausage I just found. Auto saving. <laughs> Man, this sound effect. This game does not take anything seriously, and I love it. All right, perfect. And I left some presents behind. I've marked my territory. All right, let's um. That's that empty jerry can. That's that empty oil can. See, we haven't even gotten all the way back in here yet. <sighs> Alcohol, water. Pretty sure that's a bunch of, bunch of whatever. It's fine. Pretty sure I got water already, so I don't need to worry about that. What are you? Oh, oil. Well, hey, guess what? I mean, that's a absolute metric butt ton of oil. And I say metric butt ton because guess what? It's measured in liters. Yeah, I told a funny. Let's fill you up. Alright. I got a full can of oil. Let's see if I can fill the engine up. Here. That is difficult. Oh, hey, let's let's do that. Let's eat you, you, you really far away. There we go, perfect. Perfect. Alright, so yeah, I guess my engine just loves burning oil. Oh, hey, we got ourselves another air rifle. I don't have enough air rifles in my possession. Let's grab another one. Let's get you up close and personal so we're in your teeth. And then we'll just kind of like maneuver you into the bin. Not what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. I guess I dropped you, but fine, it's whatever.
The the physics engine in this game, I mean, it has a physics engine. I mean, I'll just be honest, it has one. It has a physics engine. Is it the best? No. Does it do the job? Hell yeah, it does. I mean, I can't code worth a darn, so... It's, it is what it is. And from what I'm hearing, this is a one-man band trying to do all this stuff. Dude's doing a fantastic job with this game. I don't need to mess with that anymore. Oh, I got water. Don't need you. I'll just drop you there. Another, I mean, heck yeah. I mean, I would love to have a Commodore 64. I'm not even sure how I'd hook it up to anything because of how ancient antiquated it is, but I'd love to have one. There's just there's just something nice about old tech. Maybe it's because I'm Gen X and all that fun stuff. Well, let's not break everything. Holy cow. Settle down there, guy. Oil that I don't care about, but hey, it's okay. We're going to drop that. I'm kind of disappointed we don't have a, a, a vehicle chassis here to mess with, because look at all these wheels. I mean, would you just look at it? I mean, I got tires for days. A pristine bus tire. I mean, just look at it. There's just goodies everywhere. Tires galore. I got wooden panels I got I got I got all sorts of goodies here I think we're getting near the end of it here so we're gonna call it a, we're gonna call this depot pretty much sorted now oh, we got a bike engine too in pretty good shape, I might add. I hear a bunny dying. We got a we got a bed. All right. Well, I think we've reached the end. Well, no way. There's more stuff down here. Holy cow! Water, bread, empty, coolant, actual coolant. That's a trash radiator. I ain't gonna take that. That's this is garbage. You're empty. Got some paint. Got a Christmas tree. Got a nice bucket. We got empty. We got bumpers galore. Oh, another air rifle. Holy cow. There's so many of these things. Three in here. Uh oh. That means it's going to get nighttime soon. We're going to do the right thing here. I'm going to do the right thing. Look at all these air rifles I got up in here. Air rifles everywhere. Banging, banging into everything. Are you in there? Good. I guess we're going to find out. We're going to, we're going to close up the bus here. And we're going to sleep. Yeah, we're going to sleep. It's been a while since I slept. Bite out of my lunch. Mm. Did you know you can eat beef stroganoff with rice versus egg noodles, like they usually call for? All right, so looks like it's going to be dawn here soon, so that's fine. All right, I think we're accelerating. Yeah, we're going downhill. Oh, uh, we're going to go uphill. Let's hope the bus has enough uh, beans to get up this hill. Uh, we're going to go for another hour-long episode, see what we get. And I'm 20 minutes in. I apologize for stopping so long at the depot, but hey, that's where the cool stuff is. We're still going too fast for the engine to do anything. There we go. All right. I should probably get my webcam bust out, get a green screen going. 
you know, up my YouTube streaming or recording game here a little bit. Well, that was a weird little visual glitch. There was a lot about. Have I mentioned yet that this game is totally not done yet? I think I've mentioned it only like 80 billion times, but it bears mentioning again. Can't remember what I did yesterday for lunch. Never mind what I've done previously on this game. Can I eat some more lunch while still driving a bus? Let's find out. Mm. The answer is yes. Come on, boss, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's avoid that rock. There we go. Oh, I didn't quite avoid it. Alright, stop. Alright, I've learned the hard way that you need to check to make sure you didn't lose anything when you do stuff like that because I was a autosave. There is a jet. Somewhere? I'm not sure where. Ah, oh, damn, that's that stinking. I kind of want to check that out, but I kind of don't. You know, if you know what I'm getting at. Alright, radiators in place, engines in place. Yep, looks like we're all good to go. The engine ticking away here. That's, um. Check vitals. All right, cool. Let's check vitals. Apparently, my radar is so good that I never have to worry about having to fill it with water. Hey, Joel. And you can refill the gas tank from here, which is really heckin' awesome. Uh, oh yeah, let's um get started. I mean, I kind of missed the truck. Let's be honest, the truck had more torque, more power. Uh, I had all the stuff inside the truck that I could ever want to continue my journey. I just said, "Ooh, I just lost it for, I lost it for a bus." Okay. And I paid for it because this thing has no torque. Let's do some field tests. Let's find out how many gears I got. Let's pay attention to So this is first gear. I mean really does this thing only have one goddamn gear? Like, come on, no wonder it sucked so much. That, that might, might be my whole problem, is the truck transmission had several, had a couple, uh, a couple of gears. Like, I see the muzzle of, like, three air rifles just hanging out. If I turn those bunnies on the hostile, at least I'll be, you know, set. Well, let's pay attention to what I'm doing here. So, yeah, the truck had multiple gears, four-wheel drive. Full-time four-wheel drive. It wasn't partial. And it uh, just kind of worked better for hauling stuff. I mean, it would, it would struggle with, like, really steep hills. Like, I think any vehicle struggles with really steep hills, but... It just seemed more maneuverable than the bus. But I mean, I mean, come on. I got all that room back there shown in my mirror. I mean, I got tons of room and stuff for space and storage and whatever. It's fine. I mean, I mean, I could go back and reload the save before I got the bus and say, yep, screw it. But I won't. I don't think I will. Because the bus is pretty heckin' cool. That's a depot. Not sure if we're gonna 
Rose, oh yeah, Rose not taking us there. So we're gonna say, screw you, Depot. Or Bunker, or whatever you are. We're not doing that. Oh yeah, this is the hum sound. So changing how your mouse is positioned changes how the scream is. And that change, and of course, the scrolling through the mouse wheel changes how what kind of hum or screaming you do. <laughs> I just, I mean, it's just little little qualities of life that just makes the game just fun. All right, we're struggling up a hill. Up! Oh, I just shifted a gear. I don't have a single. Oh, what are you? Let's get binoculars out and go take a look. See. Oh, you're uh, okay. You're actually kind of a cool spot, but I don't feel like dealing with it. So we're not gonna deal with it. We're gonna stick to stuff that's basically right off of the road. If that makes any sense to anybody. What's my speedometer, my odometer say? 780? I mean, it wasn't for all these cool, interesting stops along the way. I'd be going... I mean, really. I have all the fuel in the world, all the oil I could want, water. I got food. I got guns. I got, you know... I could I could probably sleep on the floor if I wanted to. I mean, I, I've, I've ridden in some buses um, in my time. And, yeah, you can fall asleep in them and it was a coach bus it wasn't anything special but you can totally rack out and not get some Z's in on a bus and the bus is like they drive super chill so as long as you don't miss your stop it's I mean it's like heckin awesome you can just totally knock out it's better than sleeping on an airplane cuz holy shit sleeping on an airplane sucks I mean, you do it because it's like instant time travel, you know, it's like, oh, I would just, you know, make time go faster for me so I can get to my landing spot faster. It's just, you know, one-way time travel. But on a bus, it's like you actually feel kind of rested when you do it. I've never felt rested after waking up on an airplane flight. I don't know. It was, your mileage may vary. Maybe it's like, oh, oh, there was the one time I flew first class. I said, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to upgrade to first class. Holy cow, that was amazing. I actually didn't want to sleep because I wanted, I wanted to, like, soak in the experience. You know, that's a bunch of rocks. Never mind. I thought it was a point of interest. It's not. So, yeah. Uh, first class airfare. It was a little bit of an upgrade cost to it on a relatively affordable, cheap ticket, but... Man, it's so worth it. So if you can afford to fly first class on something, uh, I encourage you to go do it because it's night and day difference from flying economy. I mean, you get on a plane, you're sitting there, you just boarded, you board really early, which is nice. And they say, hey, would you like something to drink? And I'm like, heck yeah, I'll take some OJ or something or water or Ginger, ginger ale tastes amazing on flights. I don't know why. The onion kind of did a thing about it. Like, why does ginger ale taste so amazing when you're flying, but it tastes like crap when you're not flying? I don't know why, but I agree with them. The only thing I do ginger ale for us uh, an antenna. There's a bunch of nothing on that, so we're not even going to bother stopping for the ginger. Ooh, what are you? You're a ship. Okay, never mind. Do you all see that? That's a ship. I got tons of fuel. I don't need any more. I really don't. I do not need any more fuel. I got so much in this bus. Never mind. I got like, you know, bullets for years here. Well, days anyway. Oh, what are you? Hey! That's a bus. Sorry, I yelled. Let's check that bus out. I mean, I'm pretty sure my bus is superior. Yours is superior intellect. 
channeling some uh, Star Trek 2 there. Let's open the door. Get out. What do we got? What do we got in here? Pack of cigarettes. Auto saving. Alcohol. Alcohol and cigarettes. Yeah, so I might have fun here. Let's check out this bus. Is this. I mean, it's got wheels. Oh, hell yeah. It's got a full... I mean, it's full of oil, but I mean, hell yeah. What do we got in here? Water. <laughs> Anything in that compartment? Nope. I mean, yeah, this thing isn't anywhere. Alright, here's your secret button for the... Uh... I mean, shit, look at this bus. It's completely intact. 100% it's all here. I never see that. Oh, yeah, I like the art. I like the art. Loves the answer, if anyone has any doubts. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest that radiator off. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna snag this guy. There. I don't need you. We're gonna take you. We're gonna drop you. We're stealing the good pieces off this bus because we can. Um I don't even know if this bus engine's any decent. What do you what do you bet it's better than what I got? Where the heck is okay. Right here. I don't even know. I think it's the same. But yeah, pristine radiator. So that radiator's coming with me, pal. I mean, it's got oil in it. What do I got for oil? Oil, oil, oil. We're dumping you out. Okay. Now that we've dumped you out. So now I've got a better spare part that I can just kind of sit on. i got to think how to do this. Alright, let's do this. Let's get a corner facing down. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Physics turns off and it's fine. Thank you, bus, for helping us out. I don't need to steal the rims and tires because I mean they're fine. I got I got lights, I got all that fun stuff. Anything back here? Anything back here? Nope, 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 bunch of nothing. Alright, let's go continue. So that was a nice score. There's a bunny running out over there somewhere. I mean normally I wouldn't give a care about you know, some random bus that I found, but it had a part that I wanted. It's good to check that stuff out. It looked like it had all wheels. I'm like, wow, if it has wheels, it probably has all the other pieces on it. It's worth checking out. I rove off the road here real quick. I'm amazed how fast things can go to crap when you're not paying attention to it. Eating some more of my beef stroganoff with rice and my cold snack. You turn away from the screen for like, you know, 18 microseconds. Oh, something's happy with my phone. What is that? Watch me text and drive here. This is why you don't text and drive. Uh, looks like a Snapchat notification. What is this? Let me go kill that up. Team Snapchat sent me a message. I don't care. I don't care about Team Snapchat. I care about my friends who occasionally will send me a message or something on Snapchat. 
I don't care about Team Snapchat. It's like Facebook sending me a message. Like, I don't give a shit, okay? You're a corporation. I don't care what you think, unless you're, like, giving me some bennies. Other than that, you can go... I don't know. You can just be ignored. I'll leave you on red. That's a bunny. Move, bunny. Thank you. It's one of my absolute best friends in the whole wide world. She has a cat named Bunny. I love that cat. That cat is like so, like, yes. Chef's kiss. Uh, like, just phenomenal cat. I'd steal, I'd steal Bunny from her, but she'd probably get so bad at me for doing that. He's a, he's a nice cat. He's chill, he's a bit skittish, but, uh, you know, if he likes you, he'll, like, you know, go up to you and, like, ram his head into you. Basically asking for pets. Such a wonderful cat. So good, Bunny is, yes. So when I see Bunny Rabbits for real, I'm like, oh, it's Bunny! You know, as I go on extreme falsetto there for a second, but, yeah. Kind of wish I could have a cat where I live. Oh, yeah, that's just a road curving away. There's something over there. I don't know what that is. That kind of rectangular looking thing. Don't know what it is. We'll find out. We'll get there. Oh, there's a rock on a road. Who maintains these? Nobody maintains these roads. How about I get the radio going? This sounds like Hungarian radio. How about I do the right thing and I turn on the e-brake and adjust this? Let's get classical going. You know, I don't like country music normally, but there's something about it in real, in like, it fits with the game. I mean, I don't have desert everywhere, but it's it's fine. We'll just. How about you say we jam out to some tunes? Oh yeah, I like this song. The what is that harmonica? I guess it's the melody line. This melody line is nice and chill and relaxed. Oh, what are you, a depot? You're a bunker. Oh, we got a car. Well, let's check that out. Let's see this car. Let's do a mini revival here on the car. Oh, I can't see nothing. Oh, you look like you're all there. Oil tank, diesel. Coolant, empty. Not gonna run for long. <laughs> we got water and the gas tank. Well, I got a bucket. But some... Oh, jeez, what the heck is this? Get out of my way. Oh, I got a slab of bacon. Like, literally a whole slab of bacon. Let's get some lights going here. Alright, now I can see what I'm doing. Oh, hey, we got another work light. That's cool. 
I mean, I mean, I mean, do I need to work with this junk car that's just kind of chilling out? No. But it's there. You know, that's, that's the most important reason for doing anything in life is because it was there. We do things because we're there, Spock. Because it's there. Well, we got water here. I don't have a bucket, though. Alright, let's, um... I got poop stains everywhere. I got a rubber... Two rubber wires. Let's, um, see what's up on the roof. Maybe there's something useful. A visor. Oil. Well, hey, we need that. Hmm. Do I got a bucket? I gotta see if I even have a bucket in here auto-saving. I do! Hey, guess what? We're gonna fix that car. Which is basically just shoveling fluids around. Because that water... Needs to go on that radiator. And then I can use this container that I just found. Well, let's um, pop this, this lights on. Okay, so we got some lights. I mean, it's all here. This body's immaculate. I want to say this is the starter car that I had to begin with. It did a good job with me. Alright, so I need oil. Well, guess what? You're coming with me, pal. They dump you everywhere. Because you... The diesel engine oil, diesel fuel in you will fill up my bus. So we're going to do some trade. Oh, perfect. Alright, so now... We're going to put this engine back in that car. It's not the most worst condition I've, I've seen, but it's it, it'll do. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so now I can put some oil in. That I just happened to find. Well, what? There it is, okay. Alright, so I need a um, siphon hose. Where'd my siphon hose go? Ah, right, there it is. There we go, perfect. Okay, we were over here. Stick in. There we go. Alright, that's that trick to getting the hose is you put it in an empty inventory slot and it's fine. Yeah, it can go way up over my head. That's fine. That's good. That's that's okay. Alright, got some water in this radiator. Okay, we'll just drop you. So I don't need all that water. Put you back. Ah, oh, daylight! I can see what I'm doing! Huzzah. What do we got? 45 minutes? Can I get this car running in 15 minutes? What do you think? Can I do it? Can I get it done? 
I think we can get it done. There you go. Physics can kick in now anytime. No, it's not what we wanted. Well, I can keep you empty. It's fine. Perfect. All right, cool. So I got oil. I'm going to have to, you know, dump some oil on this thing from my stashes of stuff. Water. Oh, man, I could have filled that up with some oil I had on hand. All right, some gas. I got some gas I can donate. We'll have to remember to uh, fill up this gas can. We'll go ahead and dump all this gas in here. So in case somebody comes along and need a car, there's a car for them right here. With half tank of gas, I'll top off the oil. I mean, they're on their own for everything else, but I want to say I'm, I'm doing somebody a favor. I mean, really, I'm not. It's a single-player game. I'm by myself. It's the principle behind it, Linda. No, that didn't work. I, I want to... I want to... Oh, my gosh. Really? Okay, okay, okay. All oh, daylight. Glorious daylight. I can't stand the sun normally in real life, but... It's nice having it in the game. <laughs> there you go, perfect. I got this car all ready to go. This car is certified as a backup vehicle or whatever for whoever needs to use it. I mean, just look at it. It's a nice car. I mean, it needs a little bit of TLC here for whatnot. You know, I'll go ahead and throw that in the trunk. Hey, they got to sell. Hey, I, I hooked you up. I hooked you up, guys. You got yourself some uh, spare little jerry can or uh, stuff. I mean, shoes. It's not in bad shape. I mean, the door panels all look good. I mean, the hood needs a bit of work. The trunk needs a bit of work, but shoots, I'd drive it. I mean, I this is my starter car. I'd drive this thing to hell and back. We have some water here. I didn't have to use my own, but hey, I just pulled it out of that tank. There, y'all. I can even have a light, too, while you're at it. There you go. Boop. Now let's drop that siphon hose wherever the heck I put siphon hoses at. Our Volvo needs work. That's right there. Okay, so four. I can coil it up, and then I can stuff it right here, and I can go drop. Perfect! Alright. That's a deal. Well, I, I, I forgot to test drive it. Let's see if it starts. Old start cult. What is that over there? Is that a ship? Yeah, it's a ship. And that's a couple of buildings way out there in the middle of nowhere. What else we got on our route? Got a plan ahead, you know. I see telephone poles, I see the road. Looks like smooth sailing for a while. Well let's let's get in and see if this works. Why is the battery light on? Let's get this off the road. Yeah, this was my life. In game for like the longest time was this little putt butt car.
So yeah, whoever comes along and says, hey, I need a car, you're welcome. I hooked you up. It's not perfect. It'll get you, it gets you where you need to go. And off we go. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, it's just a, okay, never mind. Never mind, I got confused. All right, so I got 10 more minutes on this before I decide to call it a day. As I coast kind of more or less downhill. Rocks, telephone poles. Just keep going. I don't know. I don't know why I waste my time trying to fix up a car that I'm not even going to take. It's, it's, I don't know. Uh, my thought is, if you can help somebody, you should. But that's the thing, is, is if you can. If you can't, I mean, don't... I mean, it'd be wonderful if everyone had the ability to help everybody else out in the world, but we don't sometimes. So... It's, it don't feel bad if you're not in a spot where you can, where you cannot help somebody. But if you can, you know, I will judge you for not helping when you can. <laughs> so it's like playing a game, single player game. There's no multiplayer. I mean, there's, I'm not playing with anybody here on this. It's like, why would I bother to waste time fixing up a car? It's just a bunch of pixels on the screen, guy. Like, why why do it? I don't know, it's the principle of the thing. I don't have the time, talent, or ability to do this in real life, but I can do it here. I guess it kind of counts for something. I, I don't know. I don't know. You can leave comments on what you think about that. Maybe it's because I'm inebriated I'm being more freely in how I view things, but I don't know. Speaking of inebriation, gotta drink some more of my gold snack. Cause no story ever started with a glass of milk, you know. Let's see, looks like we shoot off that way and then we go that way. Alright, we're fine. We're cool. We're fine. Let's get that radio going. Yeah, buddy. Just chilling some radio. Well, I almost dumped my food all over my keyboard. I said I'd just talk them while you break. Oh. Little bit signal there. I had it slightly out of tune. Rocks. That's desert over there. All right, people who can like, you know, eat a bowl of food while driving, like why would you do that? You're just asking for trouble. Well, we're not going very fast right now. 50 kph, that's like, what, 30? Why did I get rid of the truck? I don't know. Just stuff's festooned all over my bus. I like the chromey radiator. Oh yeah, we got goodies everywhere. Barrels of gas and fuel. What is that, like seven? I got four there on the side there. And three here in the back. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry, I got eight. One in the front, four in the back. Three in the very back. Why? Because I can. That's why. I can't even remember if they're all diesel fuel or not. I know they're all pretty heavy. 
Never mind all the jerry cans I got festooned all over my bus. Festooned is kind of a nice word, isn't it? I like how the biome transition just like violently like that. More bus, more, more road. Let's turn that up. Oh, you're a point of interest for sure. Yeah, buddy. Let's check that out. Oh, double-decker bus missing all the wheels. Yeah, it'll be fun to drive. Can I, can I knock that aside? I can. We'll leave that playing. See, can I get up on the roof there with this? Auto save. I'll just drop you there. I got a bed. Somebody did a poop. We got an air rifle. Yep, we'll take you with us. There you go. All right, there's a leg here. What are you? Water. Well, I just, um, I just used up some water trying to get my, uh, oh, I just messed that all up. Oh, uh, there's no car down here? Oh, we got, what the heck? Oh, we got two? Pack of smokes. Surprised there's no car here. Oh well. Oh, we got a sponge. What did I grab? Oh, I didn't need water. I needed gas. Well, let's just go ahead and drop you right here. Let's see if we got any gasoline. More water. I've actually managed to somehow kill myself using the doors. Oh, hey, some gas. Perfect. We said we just swap out that gas can with this one. Yeah, we'll just go like that. Oh, saving. What's this thing over here I see? I, I just saw it. There it is, right over here. Oh, it's a farmhouse. It's a bunny. It's in this jury can. Oh, more gas. Alright, well, let's fill some gas up. Because I, I use gas, I need to replenish my stocks. Not that I really need it, but you know. Look, that's kind of icky there, guy. I like how the chairs just kind of break. I got a seltzer bottle here. We got a bed. I don't know, I might, I might sleep here tonight. Diesel, empty, gas. Here come with me, gas. I'll just close you. I mean, this is literally just a splash of diesel fuel, but it's something. 
I'm not gonna complain. Well, well, frame rate went all this shit. Not sure why. Oh, it's fine now. No, it's not fine. Well, let's find out what's in this bus. Oh, hell yeah. There's a crap ton of diesel in there. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill you up with this. Huh, only when I face this way does it all go to hell. And then we'll take one of those. Yeah, perfect. What's else in here? Let's go find out. Auto saving. Oh, it's night time. How about we, you know, take a nap here and then uh, we'll see what we got. Can't sleep yet. What? Oh, you can't sleep in dirt. I toggled for a dirt person. Let's get some daylight. Mm-hmm. What else we got in here? Seltzer container. Got some spray. More feet, just chilling out. Got some gas, I'll take that. You're coming with me, buddy. We're gonna go over here. All right, got a gallon. Where is that? Uh, yeah, we'll just use one of these. This guy. Come here, hose. We're gonna. Got a job for you. Why aren't you siphoning? You're not siphoning. Well, I got a bucket though. Let's just do that. Auto saving. Frame it goes to shit. I think what I'm dealing with is my, 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 this top of my jerry can is too high up, so it won't actually work, which is disconcerting, but it's, it's fine. Maybe it's the fact that, like, my stuff is all... Oh, that's what it is. I don't have a tire in here. I gotta raise the gas tank up to the point where I can actually get to it. Hey, look at this. No engine, no radiator. All this diesel fuel, I can't manage to siphon out because it's just not happy. That's the other piece of art they come with. I mean, look at it. I got four doors. Now, the issue with the articulated bus is anything back aft of this part. The game doesn't like trying to render it back in there. And go away. 
Well, let's see if I got a bus tire. I do have a rim. Hopefully this will raise up my fuel tank just enough so I can get... <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, if you look at it, they're at the same level. I need to, I need to, why is it all saving again? Why are you doing that to me, game? I mean, I could rip tires off my stuff in order to get it to work, I suppose. Uh, if I had a, oh, hey, a bucket. I want another bucket. It's a nice little song, nice and quiet. No, I wanted to attach you. <sighs> okay, let's, let's let's figure that out again. Perfect. Perfect. I say as my voice cracks. It's fine. No one cares about that stuff, right? What are you? Oh, you're a gauge. Don't care. You're a sponge, you're paint, you're a mirror thing, you're paint, you're whatever. Got some bacon, got a pack of cigs. Got poop stains everywhere. Kinda wish you could take crowbar and bust open containers like that. What's in here? Uh, we're a fridge. Not what I wanted to do. I mean, it kind of is what I wanted to do, but it's fine. Alright, let's go that way. Frame rate's all the hell right now. Uh, oh, we got bullets. I got a pack of bullets that's not full, so let's go ahead and fix you. Why does my frame rate go all to shit? I don't understand. There we go. I want this diesel! It just won't let me do it. That's not what I wanted to do. It's not working. Well, I mean, do I really need the diesel fuel? No. Let's get out of this frame rate killing. I'll see, perfect. There, I have reloaded my bullets. Go away. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, that's disconcerting. Let's stop that. What am I stuck on? Oh, that's what I'm stuck on. I turned too sharp. And I didn't close that. That's just okay. Okay. There we go. I need to clear that way. That song's a little irritating, so we're gonna turn that way down. Alright, where am I at? Hour and ten minutes, roughly. Let's get to another stopping point, and we'll just call that a day. I got better things to do with my time than deal with that depot. 
I mean, I mean, that bus was just knackered. I think I found one articulated bus that was in like in pretty good condition, but I said, wow, that thing weighs some weirder than the bus that I got now, and this bus already has trouble going up hills, so why would I want to deal with that? Oh, desert fire. What time is it now? It's uh, a little afternoon. It's like 12, 15, 12, 25, 12, 30. Yeah, how about we just go until nightfall? That's not going to take too long. Pretty sure it's like 24 minute days instead of 24 hour days. So that, that minute hand on that clock there off to the left is literally counting seconds, not minutes. It's fine. I may have to find something super juicy to check out, but I don't see nothing here. What do I got now? I barely hit 800 kilometers. What did I start this trip with? I don't know. I should go back and review it. I should write down what my mileage or kilometerage. Is that the right term for it? My distance for these trips is before I... The beginning and the end of the episode. Or at least the beginning of the episode. So I kind of have an idea of the progress I'm making. It's an alright jam. The classical music station only plays like, I think, three songs. I think every radio station only plays like three or four songs. Like, heavy repeat mode, activate. But I find that that's actually fairly common. Now, I mean, that's why I don't listen to radio in my car much at all, because, well, we're going to hit that bump. No, we're not. Okay, cool. I'm not arguing with it. The reason I don't listen to radio in my car in real life is because everything's on heavy repeat and you play the same 10 songs over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's like, come on, get a new disc, get a new set. That looks like extreme hills over there. That's a grave marker, somebody died there. Odd spot for it, but. I mean, I don't know if this thing on the mainland, but here in Hawaii, when somebody has a fatal accident at a piece of H1, H2, H3, which is what we call our interstate freeways, family members and friends will make a memorial on the side of the road where they, where their loved one died. I don't know if that's a thing elsewhere. I know it's a thing here. I'm curious if you can draw in the comments, like, is that a thing on the mainland? Is that a thing in Europe? Is that a thing in other places of the world? I see it here in Hawaii. I never saw it before when I was in Oregon, but... I mean, it is what it is. I mean, they miss their loved ones and I want to make a memorial. I mean, it raises awareness. Like, hey, you know, driving on the roads, you can get yourself killed doing it. Oh, that's something over there. What are you? You're just a water tower. I ain't gonna mess with you. I mean, I'm hogging like both lanes of this road here, but there's nobody else around, so I don't have to worry about it. But if this is real life, I should not be driving. One, I'm probably legally intoxicated. Two, I'm driving like an idiot. Three, I'm driving distracted. There's a whole bunch of things against me driving here, but... Yeah. So I'm just curious if that's a thing in other parts of the world of leaving memorials behind on where people have passed on. Oh, this song is neat because it kind of goes into the electronic church organ thing for a bit. My grandparents had one of those electronic organs for the longest time. I remember toying around with it. 
It was such a power hog. It ran hot. You could just feel the heat air. Oh, they ran already. And then they got themselves an electronic keyboard because my, my grandfather was a jazz musician, so he liked practicing on a keyboard. I don't know if Grandma Elsie did anything with it, but... Oh, Grandpa Asa. Well, I just can't hear nothing with all this noise. Maybe it sounds better if I look down at my cage cluster, you know. Oh anyway, yeah, so my grandpa, you know, jazz, jazz, jazz musician, clarinet, saxophone, occasionally would play uh, trumpet, a couple other things. He played at like uh, uh, lounges and stuff, nightclubs and whatever. It's part of a group. Uh, he encouraged me to get in a band, but I did not have the musical talent that he did. And uh, so I had an appreciation for jazz and other stuff from him, but I just was never good at it. So I kind of appreciate good music, but I just can't reproduce it myself, you know? It's kind of thing. Plus he was an engineer. I'm not sure what Roller Champions is, but... Uh, because one of my one of my Steam friends is playing that. Where's this road go? I can't even tell. That way, I think I see a hint of. Oh, no! Screw it. We keep going. I ain't care. I don't care. Speedometer is way pegged out. Your rocks. It's getting dark. And it's an hour and 15 minutes in this episode, so I kind of don't want to stop here, here, because I'm going uphill. Yep, watch that speedometer kill itself. Let's at least crest this hill. This distinctly has a country music aspect to it that slide whatever uh, music instrument that they use in country western all the time. I don't even know what it's called. I, I have no idea. Is it like a bunch of guitar strings laid out on a bench and you just like slide a thing over it to change the pitch? Instead of picking a pitch up for real, you just kind of slide this bar over. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Somebody tell me what it is. I don't know. Anywho, so, yeah. It looks like the lights go off to the right. Yeah. How about I do the right thing and I just changed... Oh, that's it. This is this is not going to end badly at all, really. Honestly, it can't. I hit like a rock and full tilt boogie. Oh, man, what song is this? Is this on the Blue Danube? Oh, this is a nice song. Man, there's like really quiet station here too. Right, so once we press the sail, we'll stop for the night. All right, 811 kilometers. We'll get there. I want to say this song was uh, in 2001 Space Odyssey. I want to say this is the song they used when they were dock the Pan Am, Pan American space plane was docking with the station above the low Earth orbit. 
This song is also featured whenever you dock with um, anything in Elite Dangerous. And I was like, oh hell yeah, this rocks. This fits so well. Doesn't fit with the game I'm playing, but hey, it's a nice song. It's fine. Oh, that's a great stopping point right there with this parts stash here. Yeah, buddy. What just broke? I bet it was stuff that was inside the depot. Uh-oh. I lost my interface. Well, that's great. We're gonna go ahead and just... I say I got that interface. Yeah, so when this happens, if you... Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's... Oh, what the snap. I don't even know. I think I have a feeling if I get out and stand, I'll be dead, so... We're going to call that a day. So, thanks for uh, joining me on episode 9 of The Long Drive. I'll catch you all later. Bye.